Hi, my name is Rachel Winter. And I'm Jordan Rojas. And we are showing you the bare stress test of the knee today. So first I'm going to start with some of the indications uh, and precautions for the test. Um, first, if you believe that the, that the mechanism of injury is a varus blow to the knee, or if you think that there's any ligamentous involvement, um, the test can be indicated. Some, sim some symptoms you might find are uh, some swelling around the knee, tenderness to the palpation, some locking out or clicking, uh, and uh, any feelings of giving way or knee buckling during activity. <laughs> For um, the precautions, really the only precaution is going to be if the patient recently had any um, PCL or ACL reconstructive surgeries or procedures, um, and then you just want to go based off of your clinical expertise as well as the protocol given to you by the surgeon. And then the biomechanics of the um, bear stress test. The primary um, structure that you are stressing is going to be the lateral collateral ligament. And that ligament goes from the lateral femoral epicondyle to just below the fibular head. Um, you're also going to be stressing the posterior lateral joint capsule and the arcuate popliteus complex. Okay. Hi, Jordan. My name is Rachel Winter. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Okay. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with you, you came in with some knee pain. Yeah. Um, and you think you um, fell and it kind of turned out, right? So. Yes. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is called the bear stress test. Okay. And I want you to go ahead and lay down for me on your back. Okay. I'm going to be testing your right side first, the uninvolved side, okay. and then the involved side. Okay. Okay. So what to expect from this um, test, you might feel some recreation of your symptoms. Um, you also might feel a little bit of a compressive force, some pressure on the inside of your knee. Okay. Um, and... Other than that, um, there might be a little bit of gapping you might feel. Um, I'm going to stand on the inside of this leg, so I'm going to hold your ankle, pull you off the edge of the plinth here a little bit. I'm going to be stabilizing you up against my thigh, and I'm going to be holding you in zero degrees of knee flexion, so, and you don't have any hyperextension, so that's good. So we're at zero, and I'm going to be feeling the inside of your knee with my left hand and the outside of your knee with my right hand. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be using my hip to push out on your knee. Okay, I want you to let me know if you feel any, um, any symptoms that you came in with, uh, any pain. Okay. Okay. And I didn't feel any gapping there either, so that's good. And I'm just going to move you into about 30 degrees of knee flexion here. 
Um, okay. And again, I'm going to be using my hip to kind of push out on your knee. We're we'll doing several times. Any pain? No symptoms. Okay. And I can also move into a little bit of tibial external rotation to kind of get that um, inside compartment of the knee to see if there's any pain with that either or any laxity in that ligament. Okay. So since that was a negative um, test on the right side, which makes sense because that was your unblocked limb, I'm going to go ahead and test your left side now. And if there is any, um, if there are any symptoms or if there's any gapping that I feel, um, then it would be a positive test, positive finding. And we'll go from there. Okay, thank you.